This house looks really nice, guys. I like it when I have so many nice homes here. Everyone's gonna be in love with this town. It's gonna be their favorite place to live. Can't wait. It's gonna be so cool once we're done with everything. Hello everybody and welcome back to Colony Survival. My name is Twist and today we're gonna be moving our banner. Not Bruce Banner, we're gonna be moving our normal banner in hopes that it's gonna look more awesome and in hopes that it's actually going to stop the zombies from spawning at the edge because I have a slight hunch the zombies may spawn a certain distance from the banner. So I'm gonna do this. Uh, once we do that, we'll actually go into siege mode. We have enough food so no need to worry about that. We move, yes. Uh, uh oh, siege mode, No! For this night, very much increased because the are in the world. All right, let's go, run, 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 go! It's not that bad though, it's actually okay. Place the banner, there we go. That's our banner. There's the sun, looks very bright. It's not the best looking location for it, but I do like it quite a bit. We could actually just remove it with some edges over here. Maybe it's gonna look a bit nicer if we do this, like that. I like that quite a bit. I feel it looks quite, quite nice. All right, so this is gonna be our main square. I did change the dimensions a tiny little bit. Uh, but we still have to fill in the entire square. Still have to do a lot of things. This is the center of our town. We have enough space in this direction, but we don't have enough space in that direction. So we will be doing a wall expansion at one point, which means I will not be completing the walls yet, because I do want to just extend them a little bit more. Again, it's gonna be a lot of work, but thankfully I just placed those rudimentary protection walls. You can actually build the whole shebang. So it's gonna be okay. And also I think we might as well have some royal guards next to the thing here. But I don't wanna place grass, I wanna place this thing down. Uh, we might wanna have some royal guards next to the banner. I think it's gonna look pretty darn sweet. Let's like place a thing here. There we go. No, wrong thing, sorry. Let's have them protect the outer side. These are the Royal Guards. They protect the banner with their life. They stay here forever and they never falter. Let's get one, two, three, make them look more awesome. There we go, they're all gonna take their spots. They're all gonna go up, yep, 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 yep. They change their minds. <laughs> right, where are they firing at the guys? I can see the, I can hear the noises. Where are they spawning? In the fields, of course they're spawning in the fields. Stupid fields. By the way, these fields are getting obsolete very quickly. I am slowly harvesting the crops as they grow so that we at least keep the seeds. You are here because of reasons. Right, I'm gonna just have these guys over here. I think we can remove most of other people easily. Okay, there's another zombie spawned over there. Why did the zombie spawn in my area, guys? There has to be some colder coming out of or something. I mean, I'm guessing once we clear out the forest, it's gonna be better. They're probably spawning in a level of certain... I don't know, man. I think we just gotta cut this all into little tiny bit of pieces. Unfortunately, we cannot... You have to do it all ourselves. We cannot hire someone to do it for us, so that's kind of annoying. Oh, well. Not a big deal. Might as well place a few torches down. Again, they may not spawn near... But yeah, there's a lot of me-made obstacles here. There's torches, walls, and whatnot. I don't know. I have no idea. Maybe if we like, place a random bed here, they will not spawn there. I'm not quite sure. Maybe they sp don't spawn a certain distance from a colonist. So if we have... That might be a thing. Might want to have more archers in that area. But no one's spawning here. Again, maybe the amount of things we built plus are spawning here. Again, it's getting a bit framey. They're trying to reach something. I don't know what they're trying to reach. I think a peek at our guys. We did uh, hire a lot of new colonists. Okay, they're still kicking. They're still doing fine. Still killing them quite easily. No big problems. There's a lot of guys up there just shooting stuff. It's kind of lovely. I think like adding another colonist like that guy is going to help out a ton. That's a little pillar of the community. That'd be quite helpful. For us in the long run, so we probably want to do that. Just have him shoot stuff while being unhittable. That's going to be quite useful. Uh, okay, I don't see any more zombies in the forest now, which is good. Again, it's getting so framey. It's so weird, because it's usually normal, then gets really framey for a few seconds. And I don't really like that. Oh well, not the end of the world. We can, we can handle it, we're fine. 
How are we doing with special blocks? We have 50 adobes and 45 coda planks. We told them to build more, right? They should be building more than that. That's not a really good number for us. We have a lot of unused beds. So my goal is going to be to actually move a bunch of beds. We're going to move uh, 11 beds quite easily just to clear out the path over here. Again, we have way more beds than we actually need. That's okay. So I'm going to actually just carve out some more paths and then we're going to try making a nice house somewhere for our guys to live in. So I removed too many beds just to test out what happens and nothing actually happens. I guess it just stops you from recruiting a new colonist. So technically you could get all the beds, hire all the colonists you need and then just stop adding more beds. Is that what I'm going to do? That seems kind of silly. I'm going to just add these just in case because I don't like people having no beds to sleep in. Again, we have more than enough beds because the archers never go to bed. But it doesn't really matter. What, what are you doing? Oh, you're guarding here, right? That's a weird location that they put you in. I mean, it's fine. I kind of want to move you a little bit outside just to make it more sensible. There we go. So move to that area up now, please. Thank you very much. And I clear out this area, so I'm just cutting out the outsides of the road just so we know where it goes. I don't want to... Uh, it's gonna take me ages, I'm gonna do that all off camera, like, it's gonna take uh, a few hours to just empty out the grass, because it just takes ages to build, and it's not very interesting to watch on camera. I prefer showing off the end result more than I prefer showing off the uh, process of actually getting to where we are, if you know what I mean. I mean, I like doing both, but sometimes you know what I'm doing, I'm not doing anything special here. I'm just cutting off the, the grass. So it's going to look quite nice. It's going to go all the way here. It's going to be the main road of the town. It leads all the way to this thing. I'm going to have another road that goes that way. Another road that goes that way. This is all going to be filled in with uh, stone. So it's all going to be stone. We might actually have like a few... I could actually add a few trees in the middle just to add a little bit of variety. I could make trees manually. I guess just uh, place the logs and leaves separately. We have to have to grow them. So that's good. We could grow a tree and then remove the zone for growing, but that seems kind of silly. So it's going to be the main square of our town. going to have another road that goes all the way that way. It's going to go... It's going to be the dockside road. It's going to be the main gate road. That's going to be the... I don't know. Maybe we could, that could be the slums over there. And over here, we need another district. So we have the docks. We have the... Main gate district, we have the docks district, we have the slums, and we have something else. It could be the, f the I don't know, the farmer's market. I don't, it could be a market, we could make a big market. Yeah, I guess that's a thing we could do. Again, I do want to build a lot of things. We are still missing so many things here. Uh, let's just make this a bit nicer, because right now we're just broken up with the old field. This is actually one of our original fields. It feels kind of weird removing it, but we have better fields now, so no need to worry about that. We have more than enough food coming in. We spend a lot of food, but we actually have more than enough coming in, so it's no big deal. Again, I do want to have even more farms than I do right now. But at the moment, we have enough colonies. I just need to take, take some time to figure out what's going to be our final design, and then clear out the large fields, large area, put 50 farms in place, and then just hire 50 people at once. And hope that our archers can keep up with the demand. But first of all, I want to actually build some homes. Because they've all been sleeping outside. I don't like when people are sleeping outside. They should go... They should have a home of their own, right? Somewhere they can come home, hang their hat, have fun. Of course, they're all going to share beds. They're going to share rooms. Because I don't, don't plan to build a single house for every single person. That would be kind of insane, honestly. Building a house for every single person would be real tough. Because right now we just need 80 homes, just for just for all of them. So we're gonna have probably like a house with like no, don't plant. Oh no, don't plant those. I'm so dumb. Thought it was still grass. My bad. Let's get all of it going properly. There we go. Awesome. Again, this is gonna be changed off camera. I'm gonna leave these guys on the grass for now. That's okay. Walls. We wanna finish them once we have more things to do. I know it looks really ugly right now. We'll, we'll fix it later. That wall looks kind of kind of nice. It has like a big hole. Should do like these guys are doing nothing of value. I mean, they are making money, so I guess that is literally value, but I'm gonna have to move them right now. All right, so it's gonna get dark again. Uh, how are we doing with logs? We have a ton of logs, I think, for now. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually go over here, command tool, gonna remove the area because I can. And just gonna just cut the trees that I have over here. Because I want to have this area free for me to build whatever I want. Let's do a little bit of clearing here. There we go. They're all going back to beds. That's fine. We have... We don't have more people now. Right. We have the same amount as last time. So they're gonna survive no problem. Don't you worry about that. Can be just safe. Alright, so we have the square. Let's add some extra alleys. So let's just do a little bit of a layout thing. So you go over here, enter the wall. This is where the thing is. And there's a little, like, alley here. Kind of want to make it two blocks wide, I guess. Maybe, maybe we'll go with, with three blocks instead. I don't know. We have beds in the way, so I don't want to think about it right now. Let's actually add these things. Alright, that's fine. So we have little alleys that go left and right. They're gonna go adjacent to the walls. You can be able to walk around the walls on the outside thing if you want. Not the most important thing. It might be a bit better if it was if it were tree blocks instead. Can I remove these beds? I can. Are you stuck forever now? I hope you're not. You have other beds to go to, so just go take a choose choose one. We have it more than enough. Don't choose this one though. I don't I need to remove this one as well. There you go. Find a bed to call your home. There you go. So that's gonna be a little side alley. So three blocks is a side alley. Uh, we're gonna have a block of grass everywhere just for a little posterity's sake. We're gonna have our first building over here. Let's get this. I'm gonna use stone bricks as markers. They won't all be made out of stone. They will be made out of wood. Mostly coated wood. That's the plan. So I wanna have a few block arenos. Have like a little thing here. It's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That leaves us with a block in the middle. It's gonna look nice as a house. It's gonna have a nice wall. We'll extend all the way back here. For example, it's gonna extend all the way over here. And yeah, make it like a bit longer though. There we go. Just like that. Not a huge house, but it's gonna be fairly reasonable. It's gonna be a nice little simple shape. Nothing to write home about. Right next to it, we're gonna have like a little place where there's the roof. The thing. We're gonna have another house over here. We're gonna make it mostly the same. But this one's gonna be a little bit bigger. Because it's gonna actually be the same size over here. So we're gonna have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Like this. And it's gonna go over here, but it's also gonna extend like a few blocks to this side, I think. Two, three, four, five, four, three blocks. Like this. Okay, it gets so framey. Oh my god, do you see this? I don't know what's up with that. I guess they're just struggling to reach what they want to reach. I don't see any zombies in my area, which is good. Maybe we stop them from spawning. There's gonna be another house. And we might have a little garden type thing here. That would actually look quite nice. We could plant the flax. Make it grow, make it a nice little garden. That's one house. That's the other house. They might be a little bit too wide though. Like seven blocks might be a bit overkill. Let's actually go with this. Make it a bit less wide. Oh my god. Oh, it's getting unplayable. Holy sacks. Like this. Five and three. That's a nice little house, nice little home, nothing to write home about. But it's gonna be something. This is gonna be a communal bedroom, I think. There's gonna be a lot of people sleeping and doing stuff and whatnot. It's gonna be a house with a garden. That's fine. Then we're gonna have enough room for one more. Let's make it a different shape this time. So... And we want to have a room for the walls, grass, for the walls, for the roof, I mean. We start over here with the building. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's make it a six wider. A six, let's make it a sixer. There we go, I'm going to have it go all the way here. And we can have the other one. Actually, let's make this one go all the way over here. I'm gonna make it go all the way here. Then we have the other one be like this. I'm gonna actually like separate these. I'm just gonna be a smaller one. I'm gonna have another one that goes all the way here. That's a bit of a wide 
birth. There we go. A white Bertha. It's gonna be a white Bertha the home. All right, let's do some good things here. So let's move a bunch of beds over here because we're not touching this area for now. Let's move all these beds that we have over here. Doesn't matter where we place them. Gonna remove them later, anyways. I have a lot of beds now. Okay, I have way too many beds. Good. That's actually good. And we want to remove all these extra beds in this area. I want to actually make a house. Get rid of all of these bad boys. There we go. Alright, nice. So, how are we going to make the homes? I kind of want to make them... Out of, we could make them out of plaster, but let's actually take plaster. Let's take the coated planks. We only have 55 of those? How come? Do we not have enough... Hold on. Do we not have enough oil, maybe? These guys are just making plaster non-stop. 121. I guess... They want to make a ton of plaster first, huh? Yeah, they're making a lot of it. Let's see the oil. That's actually cool. No, but we need plaster, though. Right, you know what? Let's go get a few more crafters. So we have workbenches... Six. All right. Let's get six more workbenches here. So do like one, like just like this. Okay, and let's yeah, five jobs. I know. Get some cages like this, and we're gonna need a few more peeps. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. There we go. So they should all come and get their job. Oh, no, three beds. Okay, awesome. <laughs> I forgot about that little detail. So let's go and get the beds out of here. And we need a bunch more beds. All right, that's fine. Just go over here. A large amount of beds needed. Oh, want to get a place there? There we go. That's. I know it's very ugly, but again, we want to move everything to a house. If I keep it like this, it's gonna make make me think that it's ugly. So I'm gonna be more likely to remove it. That's why I'm doing it like that. And let's get five more peeps, right? Nope. One, two, three, four, five. Awesome. So they're all gonna start making a lot of things. Hopefully they will reach our limits and then they will be doing their job properly. So coated planks, they look quite nice, right? Let's actually get the known planks out as well. We could use straw for the roof. Yeah, I think that's quite nice. All right, let's 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 try doing like a few wall types. So that's one wall type. I also want to get logs. I want to use logs on the outside. That's dirt. Uh, give me some logs. I don't need a bow right now. So instead of this, I want to actually use logs on the outside. And then we can have either this, or we could actually use maybe coda planks. Okay, that looks way too similar, I think. We could use plaster. I think I want to use plaster for these walls. Yeah, I'll do like that. So I'm going to use plaster for these walls. Going to have a thing in the middle. Going to have a nice little window here. Let's have it. Let's climb up here. There we go. I have another layer. I want to have another window over here-ish. Got a nice little staircase. Get some more logs on the road. Blaster blocks, something like this seems okay, right? That looks reasonable for a house. Could make it 3D, I guess. But I'd rather make it 3D with some different effects. And then we could use coated planks as a limiter, but I kind of want to use normal planks instead. So we're going to use sorry, something like this. A little, little, yeah, that looks okay. Not the best combo. But it looks fine. If you guys have any better ideas, let me know in the comments. If you have like a design for a house, I'll I want to have different houses. I don't want them all to be the same. And this should be like the roof now, right? Of course, we actually have to make it go outside. Okay, that looks fine. It looks a bit weird with all these planks, so let's actually move one layer of planks. And more plaster here. 
That looks that looks great, I think. This looks awesome. This looks like a legit house. I like it. It's nice. You made something nice, guys. I'm so happy. I am so happy. Let's extend the roof. Actually, no, this is... No, 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 no. This is gonna be more plaster. No, but you're gonna have this thing anyways on the outside, so let's actually just extend this bad boy. The logs go over here. Have straw like this. Again, that seems fine, and let's get the plaster walls going. Something like this. Again, we'll need some more roofs. Why am I so bad at placing blocks today? What is wrong with me? What is wrong with you, Twisted? I have no idea. Something like this. Looks fine. And we want to actually have one more layer above here, so let's do it like this. Need more plaster, alright. Thankfully we have more craftsmen now, so we should be getting things at a much higher rate. Which is always great to hear. And let's extend the straw. I think straw roof is a good call. Just like this. Here we want to also have plaster at the edges. And it's not the best looking house ever. Let me go all the way here. It's not the best looking house ever. But I feel like it's gonna look quite, quite nice. Oh, I have an idea, another idea for a building. Why don't we build a stable? I build some stables for our horses. Even though there's no horses in the game right now. We built a windmill even though there is no flower in the game, so... That's a thing. All right, this actually seems quite nice. Let's move these extra blocks over here. They're not needed. I like this as a house. Might as well like place some more things. I do think maybe could remove this entire plank bit at, on the top. I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. I'll gladly modify this house to make it look a bit nicer. Go up here. And we want to have... Let's actually try building the back out of plaster blocks. Actually, do we do one this? Yes. Nope, not there. Like here and just get a bunch of straw. Nice straw roof. Straw looks quite nice in this game. I like that. You just extend it all the way to the edge. Like this. Okay, my guys are hopefully keeping up with the demand. Uh, we're actually losing arrows. We had 800 a few days ago. Now they're actually kind of getting a bit lower. So we probably want to change the limits for arrows at one point. And we may want to hire more crafters just to keep up. Again, once they reach the uh, numbers for the building blocks, they're going to be just focusing on arrows. Hopefully they'll be able to keep up normally. But if they don't, they're going to be in trouble. I think my limit is 800 right now for the arrows, but we want to change that probably. All right, we have this. Let's take a peek from the back side. Just let me actually get these guys connected. All righty, let's see if this is any good. So we have this thing. I, I think, I think it's better with the planks up top. It looks a bit more dynamic. Yeah, it definitely looks a bit more dynamic with the planks up top. Let's go with planks up top. We also may add planks here. I think that looks kind of okay. No, I don't like this. It looks like a weird sad face. But I, this, this I kind of like. I like kind of having this combo. Looks like it's some kind of beam protecting us. It's pretty nice. So I want to have a thing here. Nope. Just like clear this entire area out. We also will need to add some lights. Might as well turn on our personal lights. There we go. Clear this bad boy out. 
You're gonna need some windows in the back. Again, frame rate dips again. For some reason, I don't know why. It's kind of annoying. This house looks really nice, guys. I like it when I have so many nice homes here. Everyone's gonna be in love with this town. It's gonna be their favorite place to live. Can't wait. It's gonna be so cool once we're done with everything. So I did some interior decorating. We have two sides. We have this side, which is single beds. We have a single bed over here and we have a double bed single beds. I think I like the single beds better. Uh, so I'm gonna change it. If you guys disagree, let me know in the comments and I will alternate designs. We're gonna leave this house as it is, but you could easily modify the other ones. I could add more beds here, but I don't want it to be too squeezed. Again, I could add like another one over here, but I, it feels kind of weird. I don't know. I think this is actually quite nice. This is a pretty big house. It has room for quite a lot of people. It's only one floor. We could easily make a house that has double floors. It has like a staircase that goes to the second floor with more rooms. And we actually might do that in this one on the side because it has the L shape. We can use the L shape to make a nice little staircase that goes up and have a second floor where people can sleep. But it's going to be actually quite a nice home. We have 100 beds now. That's a lot. And as we do that, we can actually start removing more beds over here. So let's move some more until we have a few extra like this. So as we build more homes, we can build more beds and it's going to be quite amazing. But yeah. I think I'm going to actually just end this video here. If you guys enjoyed, feel free to leave a like, leave a comment. It helps out a great, great deal more than you can even imagine. But yeah, once again, thank you guys very much for watching. My name's been Twisted from Hyperbell Games. Now we'll see you next time.